<laughs> well, welcome back and uh, to new viewers. This is a bunker update. Family and friends kind of thing real quick and then we'll get into uh, <laughs> to the lab. Uh, family and friends, as you know, uh, still working on uh, kicking off the Euchre tournament. We did a, uh, a visit last night, three players and one bot, uh, you know, for four-way. And uh, worked out a lot of details. So that's on track to do the uh, the biannual twice a year tournament uh, for the uh, for the for the trophy. Oh, I'm finishing up on this uh, four way thing. It was uh, three states, right? Three states involved. So I'm 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 trying to work it out. So no matter where you are in the world, you can uh, you know participate in the euchre trophy all right now what else is going on all, kind of, all kinds of great feedback on this channel, on this channel what to do everything. but uh, uh what's new as you uh you may or may not know uh this week i did the uh you know weekly uh prep stuff I did some beans did some some this i did some bread yesterday i did uh i did a loaf of bread we're going to visit the uh, bread oven, right? We're going to visit the new toaster. We're going to play with that for a second. And the air fryer. So let's just jump right to the lab and, and, and do this. Now, now if you, you new folks, new folks, it's very important to realize that the, the bread machine is also a bread oven, a cookie oven, a... a you know, soup, thing, whatever you can do in an oven, you can do in a bread machine, first thing, all right? So that's very that's very important. Everybody gets, you know, I like multitask gizmos. So, bang, I got I got a loaf of bread out of this thing, right? Or a loaf, a, a brick or whatever. Now, there's uh, madness uh, behind what I what I try to do with, with my bread. You know, it's funny. I watch these experts you know, on, on YouTube. <laughs> and, you know, they, they thump it. They, you know, how airy is it? How light or whatever. Now, you know, this is a nice loaf. It's got some puffage. It's, you know, the crust is good. Again, I didn't hit any dark button. Now, here's why. Since I use most of my bread in the, uh, in the magical newly arrived toaster, you know, I don't want to brown my bread on this occasion to be too dark so when I put it in a toaster it makes it like super dark uh, here, here's a shot of the top Not, you know nice puffage now this is the most important thing that I do is I put it on the cooling rack yesterday after finished cooled popped it in the fridge now this morning you know roughly whatever whatever time it is I pull the bag out of the refrigerator right? Uh, no, it's okay to rip into some when it just comes out fresh and it's all and you dunk butter all over it and it's all oh, it's wonderful. But that's not the purpose of this thing, right? This is a uh, long-term storage. Get a, get a, a loaf of bread, right? Now, now there is a way to bake a loaf of bread in the in the bread oven and just have a hole. But in this case, I had to remove the uh, you know the implement, the paddle deal out of it. Without too much tearage. Sometimes you do or whatever, not a big deal. You know, this is one of those convenient things. It beats and paddles itself so you don't have to. All right? Convenience. All right? Techno prepper. Use the conveniences. Now, now learning how to bake bread and things using the bread machine, the bread oven, allowed me to figure out you know how much salt how much yeast how much stuff to make bread so i could make bread you know uh, in a fire deal if i had to if i didn't have a bread machine but anyway enough of this rambling i don't want to get too long in the tooth on this and stuff but i have cut this bread many different ways in order to fit it in the toaster and the only way i've found is i slice it down the middle I would rather have a little bit in the toaster than toast sticking out of the toaster. Now I got to test more with this uh, this new, but for now, uh, safe and sorry. So after I uh, pull out of the fridge <clears throat> from being in all night, 
cut it in half. Now have a look at that. Now this is white sandwich bread and the crust is there but it's also like white so when it toasts oh it's, it's, it's just marvelous so what I got I got a 10 8 8 7 slices out of here I'm not gonna count them but bang now these will go into the uh, Ziploc bag into the fridge for you know the, the week usage you know what I'll use throughout the week now let's take a look at the crumb now this half slice right pretty okay crumb it's 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 nice I mean, it's okay it works it works now the only difference in making the crumb and stuff is how much salt you use and when you kill the yeast the yeast right so when you make uh, uh, French bread you put a little bit more salt in it and it makes a little bit bigger bubbles but there you go so did okay there's there's about six minutes you'll never get back. But anyway, we do a little raving here just real quick. A little hand fart for Greta. Can't get it in here, right? But Greta Thunberg. The uh, how dare you? Um, I like words, right? Lunch, brunch, supper, dinner. Oh, love those things, right? What do they mean? One of my favorites is breakfast. Now, what it is is break fast right when do you break your fast I know I know I'll cook something in a minute breakfast breakfast breaking your fast is is when you eat again from the last time you ate before you went to bed so if you ate at six o'clock at night and then you didn't eat anything until you wake up in the morning and at 8 o'clock you eat something, that's breaking your fast, right? Very simple. Now you can fast for longer. Sometimes I eat at 6 at night and I don't eat anything until noon. You know, sometimes, whatever. Whatever. It's okay. There are folks that as soon as they their feet hit the floor, they shove a donut or something in their mouth. You know, you're not going to starve, really. You're not. You know, unless there's some kind of medical condition. I'm not a doctor. Texas. I'm not a doctor. But if you don't need to eat, you don't, you know, come on, really? Really? Anyway. So, you know, looking, looking at collagen, you know, for my slippery disc or whatever and all that. And good fats, bad fats, whatever. I started tangling with these avocado things. Got to say it, you know, the, uh, the California made avocado. But, uh, you know, so how, what's the best way to break your fast? I've watched all kinds of different doctors and everything. I did some of these uh, guacamole packets and froze them. And then uh, the night before, pulled one out, put it in the refrigerator to let it thaw, you know, a little bit. Mangled the new toaster. Learned something here. Put the cut side of the bread up because I guess it didn't like to heat. Other than that, came out very nice. Anyway, I'm breaking my fast with... Uh, guacamole toast. Why not? All right, a little guacamole, you know, toast with a cup of coffee with my, uh, you know, collagen. Good morning. You know, wow. Wow, on safari in my uh, 2000 turbo diesel. All right. Anyway. I, I decided to, uh, you know, adventure a little bit more out into the, uh, you know, 1972 crisis and said, why not? Let's, let's do this thing. Now, here's two pizza pies, deep dish. Deep dish, not my favorite, but only thing we could, we could deal with. Now, price on this, I think, was three, 350 so... You know, not, you know, for two. Not the greatest choppy thing, but, you know, you could still do it. Uh, it's going to go uh, rapid fire, right? Using the uh, personal air fryer. Get this, you know, all on solar. Got to remember, all these work on solar. And then, bang, there's the deal with the basket. Uh, had this tin thing underneath, didn't like that. In the basket out of the oven a little crispier than I like but it's okay you know not bad it's a little choppage 
And uh, there you go. I have found that e even the ones that list, you know, air fryer settings, uh, no, they're they're wrong. <laughs> they're wrong on on at least my little machine. I don't know about your monster, but my machine, no, don't trust it. So like the toaster, I've got to learn what settings, you know, do what. Now, as far as that's that's your break fast, a little quick lunch, also. Wait, wait for this dinner or supper. You know, don't know the time frame on this yet, but stay tuned. It's coming up next. Uh, this is going a little long, but if you can stay for for my dinner confusion, that's cool. But I'll also uh, post that as a separate video if you just want to watch that. It's very short. That's right. We're going to do a banquet chicken pot pie. All right. Flaky crust, uh, dollar twenty-five. This is not your hungry man thing. This is a dollar twenty-five. Going back to you know the cost of things and stuff, we're going to go use the uh, single serve air fryer and uh, this this pot pie. Remember, right? Is it's, it's dollar twenty-five one? So you know, pop it in the uh, in the uh, air fryer. Now six six eight minutes. In the air fryer and the pot pie is done I did take the foil underneath thing out this time figure I'd give that a try you know it's a microwave safe whatever and now the uh, the potatoes are interesting had to pull out the the microwave for for this piece now the potatoes are like some kind of four cheese in a package thing and you simply take two cups of boiling water. So I put two cups in this bowl, put it in the microwave for only two minutes, got it boiling, dumped the uh, potato sack in there, right? Stirred it around and left a hole in the middle, you know? Now, I was surprised on how many, uh, you know, how much potatoes this, this sack made, but, uh, you know, it's to house the, uh, the pot pie, right? Uh, we, here we have nestled in the potato bed. You know, not too much damage. You know, did okay. The pot pie. Now, uh, uh, with the holes in it, right, for ventilation. So now, you, what I what I like to do now is do a little breakage on it, right? You know, get the flavors all loose in the in the potatoes, and here it is, kind of all mashed together. Now look at the portion size. That's a half a portion. So this thing makes two portions of this potato mix, right? And that's <laughs> now with this uh, shepherd's pie, pot pie, kind of, you know, in the bunker idea. The ratio of potato to the pot pie was a little heavy on the potato. So I'd have to either yeah, less potato or kick it up a notch and add a little something else but overall overall it's fine it's fine top chives fresh cracked pepper a little bit of uh you know garlic the four cheese potato with the pot pie vegetables and gravies and nice nice thanks thanks a lot for the visit oh you know what to do like subscribe uh, thumbs up thing is awesome if you're an anonymous user, right, you don't have an account or anything, you can always hit the thumbs up button, right? Come on. Have a super day. Later.